Hello, we're live. We did it. We're live. Is everything look good? I hope everything looks good. Okay. So I have to interact, I think. Perfect. Ah, yes, we're s we ended off on ending episode one, which is chapter one. Let me close my door really quick. <clears throat> okay, so we ended off on chapter one, or episode one, whatever you'd like to call it. Recap. So, we moved into the building with our father. We had we found out that there was a murder in Miss Sanderson room, Miss Sanderson rooms, Miss Sanderson's room, and clearly um it was or supposedly it was this guy. Wait, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. This guy. We had a few jokes about him. It does look like Sally Face. You are correct. Um we had a suspicion it was this guy, so we put, uh, turned him into the police. We turned him into the police, and it all turned out to be incorrect, because we found out after this, I think. Um, he sent his days several years behind bars. See, there it is. There's the joke. Mei Mei. If you don't know who Mei is, he's from Overwatch. She is from Overwatch. Um, so we ended off here, technically. We started episode 2 of Sally Face. So, let us get into it. Sal, come closer. I have something to show you. Sure, man. I know you touched my pony. I thought we were friends, Sal. Yeah, it's, it's still, it still freaks me out. That still freaks me out. The Wretched is episode two. Let's get into it. Yay. Okay. Man, you're still having those nightmares? I haven't had them this bad since after, right after my mom died. I really think this it's this building. So there's something so insane. I've been here for most of my life, and I haven't seen any ghosts. But... But what? Well, we've known each other for a while now. I have something to show- I have to show you something. Come on. Okay, we're going outside. What's up, Shadow Squid? Turn on Shadow Squid, that's your- Ooh, secrets! Yeah, we love secrets. Shadow Squid, wrong username. I'm getting messed up here. It's winter time! Whoa! How come you never told me about this? What? What is it? It's where I go when I need to be alone. It's my fortress of solitude. Okay. <gasps> treehouse! Yo, he has a treehouse. Oh, I, I missed that. I missed that. Gosh dang it. Oh well. I missed it. It's fine. It was like one word or something anyway, so... How, how tall is this thing? Whoa, this is cool. I always wanted a treehouse when I was younger. Yeah, my dad built this before he disappeared. Wait, what? What do you mean, disappeared? One day he was here and everything was okay, the next he was just gone. No no, no nothing. Tree houses are houses and trees. Did you know that? I... No, I didn't know that actually. Doorknob. Squid. Wrong key. And all of his things were still here. His clothes, his tools, his wallet, his driver's license, everything. He just disappeared. Damn. I'm so sorry, Larry. I know how hard th that is. Did your parents not get along? 
but thanks, I really needed that fun fact. No, my parents loved each other. They hardly even fought or anything. It isn't what it sounds like. My dad didn't leave us. Even if that's what my mom cho chooses to believe. I know he wouldn't leave us like that. He loved us. I believe you. Sure, Shadow- sh Whatever makes you happy, Shadow Squid. Shadow Squid, again! Why do you have so many usernames? They confuse me. I will leave you, so what do you think happened? Look, you know I'm not generally s superstitions. And I know you and Chug swear the apartments are haunted, but... Well, I think it's something else. Like what? I haven't told many people about this, but I know I can trust you, Sal. I... No, you won't judge me. Of course not. Squid. Yes, Squid. I should just keep calling you Squid instead of your other username, which is... Your other username. The day before he disappeared, I did something I'm not too proud of. My parents got some firecrackers, and they told me so many times to wait for them, not to play with them on my own. Squidgy? Really? Really? But I just couldn't resist, dude. I lit a few out back and wanted it up in, Miss Gibbs in Mrs. Gibson's open window and it killed her pet rabbit. That's... really? <clears throat> oh man, that's rough. <laughs> Please stop. Yeah, so I ran to check on Mrs. Gibson and she was screaming at me like crazy. As if I needed another reason to be reason to piss off. And that old bag. I felt horrible though. That poor bunny. Anyway, as I was coming down from the elevator, that's when I s saw the demon. He reached out and touched me. Was, I got the super cold chill down my whole body. I was scared shitless, dude. I thought I was losing my mind. He was gone as quickly as he came. I just... Just as the doors opened. He cursed me because of that, because of what I did. He cursed me. Everything in my life was fucked up after that. And my dad disappeared. My mom stopped talking for a while. I had to spend two weeks in juvie for accidentally killing that rabbit. My bike got stolen. Dang. Seems like your life's pretty chaotic, Larry. I missed so much school. I never, ha I had to take summer break, summer classes. It's been one bad thing after the next. Dang! Just because a demon, probably with red eyes and a black shadow, because that's what we saw, in his kitchen, probably cursed you. I don't know anymore. Wait, wait what's, what's... There's a picture up on the top corner. It's really nice. Is that his mom and his dad? Is that what his dad looks like? Dang. Ever since then, horrible things have happened to me, or around me. So you think this cur curse took your dad away? I know how it sounds, but I know it's true. It's all my fault. My dad. The rabbit. Miss Anderson. It's everything. Well, hold on, man. Even if it's some kind of curse on you, you can't blame yourself for every bad thing that happens. It's not your fault. <laughs> what did the, this demon look like? It was like nothing I've seen before. It was a moving shadow. All black and misty and had, form of a, and had the form of a man. Its eyes were the worst part. Those deep red eyes that pierced right through you. So like the demon we saw in your kitchen. Amazing. Apparently he can curse you. That's just great now, isn't it? Holy shit. What? I've seen it too. I've seen your demon. No way, when? I swear, I've seen it in the building. Just like you described, I bet it's linked to the other ghosts, too. We saw it in his kitchen, which is not a good thing, because I decided to explore his little apartment thing in the basement, walked into the kitchen, and then it formed, and then my ears were ringing because of the ringing it caused. I don't know, dude. What if we break this curse of yours? How would we do that? Maybe there are some clues around that could help? We can try to find out more about the ghosts, see if we can get to the bottom of this. Sure, why not? I have nothing to lose. Epic. Aww. Huh. 
Huh, that's strange. What's that? I found this weird Gear Boy uh, cartridge in the little lost and found box while a, a while ago. Okay. I think it reacts to supernatural activity. That was one of the last pictures we took together not long before he disappeared. Hmm. I better keep looking. Okay, so I can talk to him again. Picture. Cabinet. Chest. I'm gonna check the cabinet first. Nothing useful in there. Chest. A bunch of nature and outdoorsy magazines seem like Larry's dad was quite the opposite of my dad. The magazines are all old, from six years ago or more. Doesn't see doesn't look like anything too useful though. Let's see what else is in here. A worn, a worn leather jacket. There are a couple of old concert tickets in the pocket. I guess that's where Larry gets his taste in music. Seems like a nice nice way to bond. I don't think I've even watched a concert on TV with my dad, let alone go to let alone go to one live. Ah oh, crap. Oh. The gear boy is reacting to that. There's some kind of weird small box in here. Looks like it's sealed. I'm gonna take that. What's in the box? I have no idea, man. It belonged to my dad. It was some kind of, sort of some it's some kind of puzzle box. Never could figure out how to open it though. Looks like there's a piece missing. Oh yeah, you're right. I never noticed that before. Do you mind if I hold on to this? No, go ahead. Cool. Okay. Just let me know if you get it open. Of course. Okay. Okay, so we have a gear boy that apparently reacts to supernatural activity. Still a key card to his basement, the walkie-talkie, and then a puzzle box. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, the weird box from here doesn't seem like any it's getting pretty cold we should head back inside now ready when you are okay let's go back down and go back inside I guess I just realized how much how Sal looks so short compared to Larry that is actually hilarious I'm gonna look around and see what else I can find. Okay, sounds good. I have I sort of have to stay here and take care uh, take care of my mom. She's super sick. Yeah, I noticed that. Well, let me know if there's anything you need. Thanks, Sally. Okay, so apparently his mom's sick. Okay, new painting. I should ask Megan if she knows anything about the steam. I hope she'll come out today. I kind of want to go check on Lisa. Oh, you look- oh. Hey, Lisa. Feeling any better today? Oh, hi, Sal. I don't think- I think today might be the worst of it. Once I'm over this hump, I'll be right as rain. Which is good, because there's much work to be done. I'm just itching to get back to it. Take it easy for now, and get some rest. Oh, don't you worry about me, Sal. I've been resting plenty, and Larry has been so helpful, too. I'll be just fine. Okay. Good to know she's okay. She kind of needs to clean up a bit, though. Okay. Mm. Um, I guess go back up to the fifth floor, talk to Megan, I guess. Right? Oh, Chug. Chug, what are you up to? Hi, Sally Face. I'm waiting f for the snack tray to fill the machine. Can't start my Friday without chocolate. Can't start my Saturday without chocolate. I hear ya. I like to start the weekend off with some video games and cartoons. Did you see the new Rico's Moodish Wife episode? Yeah, it was great. I love that show. Me too. Okay then. Odd guy, Chug is. Odd guy. Okay. Is it f No, it's 504, I think, right? I should call Larry up here so you can meet Megan. Then I'll have to add us in apartments are haunted. Hey there, are you there? I'm here. What's up? Can you come up to 504? 
Sure, my mom took her medicine. She'll be passed out for a while. Anyways, I'll be right up. Epic! We get to introduce Megan to Larry. So, what is it you wanted to show me? Come on, she's in the bathroom. She? Just come on. Promise me? Okay. Damn, these fifth floor rooms have seen better days. Shh! What? Just wait a minute. Megan, are you here? Hello? I want you to meet my friend, Larry. Megan, Megan, Megan. I don't think there's anything here, in here, dude. She might be afraid. She can be pretty shy. Though I haven't been able to get her to come out for a, an, in a while now. I hope she's okay. So come up to the smelly bathroom to talk to a get, dead girl. How often do you come up here? I've been able to talk to her a few times, but like I said, she hasn't been around lately. I'm not crazy, Larry. I'm going to prove this to you. Hey, I never said you were crazy, man. As weird as it as this is, I believe you're. I believe you. Okay, you're my best bud. And if this helps at all with finding my dad, then I'm all for it. I really thought we'd be able to talk to her today. I just had this feeling, dude. You know who you should go talk with? Todd. He's probably the smartest kid I know, and he's also into supernatural stuff like you. I bet he could help somehow. We didn't meet him in the first episode. Interesting. Todd? Really? Huh. I never expected he would believe in that stuff. He always seemed so... normal? Rational? Huh. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Okay, well... I'll go talk to him and see what else I can find out. Alright, I'm gonna head back downstairs to make sure my mom's alright. Let me know if you find anything. Will do. Okay. I guess the gear boy isn't picking anything up. Because we didn't see the gear boy thing in the top corner. Okay, where's Todd? Is he on the first floor? No, I'm serious, where the heck is Todd? 202, I was so close. Okay, 202 should be this one. Hey, Sally Face. Epic. Sorry it took me a minute to answer. I was wrapping up a tutoring session with Ashley. Have you two met? Hey, I'm Ash. Really? Really, Sal? You must be Sally Face. I've heard so much about you. Um, I, um... Me? You have? Yeah, all good things, I swear. I'm glad I finally got to meet you. Uh, me too. Uh, you too. Um, I mean, it's nice to meet you as well. Dang. What is with the coughing? Is someone else sick? Is this just, like, something spreading? It's still going. Well, I'd... Love to stay and chat more, but I have to get going. Thanks for helping me out today, Todd. No problem. We can talk more on Albatrabra next week. Sounds good. I'll see you guys later. Hopefully I'll run into you again soon, Sally Face. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Enjoy the weekend, boys. Sal, so, really? You too. You alright, Sal? You seem a bit anxious. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm, I'm cool. Okay, so what brings you to the, here today? Ash seems nice. Is she a freshman, too? What is she like? Her full name, Ashley Campbell. She's a freshman like us, and overall a nice person. She has some trouble with math, so I've been tutoring her for the past couple weeks. In exchange, she occasionally assists me with my art assignments. She sounds like a great friend. Sure, I suppose so. You didn't come here to talk about Ashley, though, so what's up? Oh, right. I see dead people. <laughs> oh, God. I'm gonna ask that you believe in ghosts first, because instead of just saying, I see dead people, period, end of story, I'm just gonna... Do you believe in ghosts? I believe in par paranormal occurrences and possibilities of consciousness be enduring beyond death. Why the hesitation? Despite having witnessed unexplainable paranormia, 
per phenomena. Shit, there's not even the same word firsthand. I would require concrete evidence to declare with certainty. And I believe in ghosts, though. I do find the subject to be quite fascinating. That makes sense. I need your help. Thanks for telling me your story. I think I may be some assistance with your exploring of the paranormal. <laughs> Especially, I, ha I have a suspicion that an opportunity bes resides in my bathroom. Huh? Really? Yes, it does. It to be a strange coincidence that you are Megan and my apprentice. Up, a print, a print, a print, apparition. Learn to read. Are both found in bathrooms. However, it could also be the water pipes act as some sort of conductor for them. Though that is only a specu speculation on my part. Do you have a, the Gear Boy cartridge with you now? Yeah. Perfect. Let's go. Let's go check out the bathroom. What do you usually do to call upon Megan? Does the gear boy always light up when she's near? It doesn't light up every time. Usually I just start talking to her. Sometimes she comes out, sometimes she doesn't. Go ahead and try the same thing and attempt to summon the spirit. Hello, is anyone here with us? We're not gonna hurt you, we're friends. We're your friends. Hello, is anyone there? Nothing's happening. The game, the game isn't lighting up either. I have an idea. Let me see that. I bet I can modify your gear boy to help better detect supernatural hotspots. Cool. Sounds good to me. I'll need two things in order to, com to complete this alteration. First, I'll need something to amplify, amplify the device, the device's reception, and second, something to boost the electrical output. So, like an antenna and a battery pack. Sure. I'll be in my room once you're ready. Okay. I guess I can just go to his room. Wait, you know what? I'm gonna check out his kitchen, because we found something weird in, it in the other... Okay, nothing weird in the kitchen. Guess a good thing. Because we found something in Larry's room with the kitchen, so... Okay, now I hear laughing and coughing. That's not a good thing. Bob! I like your fish. That's Bob. He's okay. My parents insisted that I needed more nature in my life to counterbalance all of this technology, as they put it. Interesting. Will this work for the keycard puzzle box? I guess walkie talkie? Hmm, that antenna is a bit too small for our purposes. Although the card does have a magnetic strip, I'm afraid this won't work for what we need. Obviously the puzzle box won't work. That's an interesting box when you use something longer but and thinner. Okay, so I don't have anything for reception. Power. Let's try walkie-talkie. Yes, battery from your walkie-talkie will work perfectly. Good thinking, Sully Face. I'll be right back. What do I use for reception? Oh, um... What if I go back down to Larry's room and see if I can borrow his antenna? Because I'm pretty sure he has one of those police scanner things and that has a pretty big antenna. Maybe, maybe that'll work? Still waiting, eh? Dang. He's gonna wait, like, six years for that thing. Why can't I just check those antennas? Nah, no, that'd be dumb. See, he has like one of those antennas. Is your mom okay? Yeah, she'll be okay. It's just change of seasons. She always gets, always gets to her. It's just a bad cold. She'll be okay. I'll be back. No. Hasta la vista, Sally. No. Nothing. Did you ever tape the new Sanity's Fall song? Yeah, man. You wanna hear it? Uh, maybe later. Whenever you wanna hear it, just let me know. Okay. I got nothing. Maybe I can go out to the treehouse? Maybe he'll let me borrow the antenna. 
over there. I don't know if there is any tunnel over there. Thing again okay now I literally do not know what to do okay um do I go back to my house I don't know if, I don't know I don't know okay um I'm just gonna go back okay hmm. I'm gonna go back inside I think I'm gonna go back up to my house. Really nothing? Wait a dang minute. There- oh, I love that picture! Right up off the bookshelf! That's adorable! I love that. Okay, uh... Is there really nothing? I hate this kitchen, bro. That kitchen is awful. No, I don't need to. I don't think there's going to be anything in the bathroom of any use. Go find Gear Boy upgrades, bro. Where do I find a? Ge <sighs> okay. Um. It literally does not tell me where to go in any way, shape, or form. But you know, that's fine. This is... which one? Okay, this is my house. Gizmo! Whatcha watching, buddy? Yo, Gizmo! That's epic! Okay. This is my room. Oh, it's really nicely put together. You still got the Chico. Nothing? Hey Gizmo, that's really loud. Hey Dad, can't talk right now, so I have some deadline for work. Can't even help me, bro. I need like two seconds. Gizmo, can you help me? There's cat foods all over the floor. You got anything in your bathroom? No, nothing. Okay. Other than a litter box, that's it. This smells so cool, bro. Look at this guy. Is there anything, anything other? No. Very empty house. Um, anyone got anything? Robert? He must not be home. There's a guy named Robert. Dang, my neighbor, my neighbor's named Robert. Oh Jesus! Just speechless. Okay. I don't think anyone lives here. Maybe they left after. The camera's taken down. What? Okay. Uh, well, the camera's done. Down. Sorry. Okay, um, maybe I can go down here and ask someone? Okay, where do I get this antenna from? Who is it? It's me, it's, it's Sal from upstairs. Is this something you want? I just wanted to talk to you. To me? Oh, Alright, come on in then. The door's open. Oh, old lady. Hello there, Sally. What brings a young girl like yourself to see this old woman? Hi, Miss uh, Rosenberg. I wanted to ask a few questions, if that's okay. <laughs> young lady. <laughs> ask away, child. I might not have much left, but there is... But time is all I've got now. Yes, time's all, I've... all I have, and even that will soon slip away from me. Or maybe I've never really had a grasp on it all. I'll... 
Well, it's such a strange concept, isn't it? Time, sitting here alone, the mind can drift. Uh-huh. I totally feel you, bro. Miss Rosenberg? Sure, why not? A great deal. Wondering that's what's beyond the veil. Get too deep into those thoughts, and the world makes less and less sense. Yes, time, an enigma. Oh, but listen to me. Listen to me rambling on. I'm sorry, dear Sally. What had some, something to ask? How long have you lived here? Long indeed. Though, it's hard to say exactly. My old mind can barely hold on to the memories of yesterday morning more. Let alone the distant past. I'm afraid my days are nearing an end. Soon, I've returned to dust and my consciousness will merge with. The great and mysterious nothing. A void that's impossible for our little brains to wrap their heads around. And trust me when I say, I've tried. Yes, a powerful dreaded. Empty nothingness. Oh, I'm sorry, sweetie. I'm ra I've been rambling on again. What was your question? It's okay, Miss Rosenberg. I was asking how long you've lived in the Addison Apartments. You know, I do remember when the Addison Apartments... When the Addisons moved here from overseas, the construct of this building. Actually, this land belonged to my family first, but I decided to sell the... To, sell to the Addisons since I was the only one remaining. I thought the company would be nice to have again. Someone to share the anguish of life with. I was young and desperate for a new beginning. What a foolish girl I was. You regret selling the land? A life as old as mine filled with regret, my dear. Though, it all eventually becomes meaningless. Interest interesting? But the Addisons. Whatever happened to the rest of the family? Do they live around town? They're gone. Gone? Time takes us all, Sally. Poor little Terence is the last of his family. Oh, I suppose he's not little now, but that's how I see him. As that young boy with a, t with a twinkle in his eyes and a head filled with dreams. Now I look at him. Now look at him. He never leaves his godforsaken room. Yeah, why does he stay locked in there anyway? He went a little kooky after his family passed away. If you ask me, the boy was so wound up he was afraid of his own shadow. Terence worshipped his father and gave up his dream of opening a tea house in order to rent his father's apartments. Slowly but surely, he began confining himself into the safety of his room until one day he stopped coming out altogether. <coughs> Yes, despite the cheerful persona he puts forth from being from behind that door of his, Terence Addison is about as timid as they come. Damaged by a life of misfortunes, but aren't we all, my dear? Yes, I suppose we are. Okay. Have you ever seen any ghosts in this building? Ghosts? Why in heavens would you worry about such things? Such a thing as ghosts. Sally, you're such a sweet young girl, you remind me of myself from another time. Do old Rose a favor. Enjoy life while it lasts. Don't be consumed by the allure of death and its many secrets. I know, yes, yes. It's all quite tempting to pre and very easy to get pu pulled in. Why, you could say... We are all ghosts, really. Just waiting to pass from this place to the next. That got dark. Such a thin membrane with the separate ex existences. Existence and non-existence. With, with our frail bones and delicate ca casing, any small misstep could send us reeling into eternity in the blink of an eye. Okay, then. So you think I'm a girl, probably because I have pigtails, kind of like Megan did. Okay. Nothing in Miss Rosenberg. Miss Gibson. I think Miss Gibson would kill me if I bothered her again. Dang. Then like Rosenberg's having a good time. Yeah, all she's thinking about is really death. How may I help you, Sal? What's with the new cameras? 
Didn't you and your father receive the invitation to the monthly meeting? Everything gets discussed there. Oh, um, oh yeah, I guess it was just kind of forgot about it. That's not a problem at all. Though, I do suggest you join on the meetings in the future. If you're able to, that is. You see, it helps everyone at everyone informed and up to date. Anyhow, to answer your question, I've had a new security system put in for everyone's safety with all of the recent events and the tenants were getting a bit nervous. My hope is that with with this new state of the art security system in place, everyone can feel more comfortable in their living apartments uh, living arrangements. That makes sense. Thanks for catching me up on that. My pleasure. Have you seen any ghost rounds? Oh, heavens to Betsy. Betsy, like the famous cow Betsy? Please, don't tell me this building is haunted. The last thing I need right now are some... Promicious... Pro, 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 I don't know how to pronounce that. Phantoms frightening my attendants. I'm having a hard enough time keeping everyone happy while Lisa is sick. No, no, it's okay, Mr. A Addison. Everything's okay. I was, uh, I'm working on a paper for school. Yeah, that's all. Phew, I nearly had a heart attack there. I simply cannot handle one more stressor at the moment. You're doing a great job. Try not to be hard on yourself. Boots, you're too kind, Sal. Okay, goodbye. Good day. Epic. I don't think anyone lives here. Again? Okay. I love how it's just taped off. Hey, uh, 204 kind of needs to get their stuff. Wait. Who's 204? Even Miss Mr. Addison is keeping up with this mail. He doesn't come out of his room. Okay, strange. All of this stuff was ripped down. That probably doesn't matter. Okay, nothing around here. Uh... How do I get stuff? Find your boy upgrades, but what do I use, bro? That's just 104. Um, I have nothing. I don't know where to go. I think I'm just gonna go back to Todd's. Todd, I can't find anything. Gosh dang it. Can't you find something? Okay, give me a minute. I need to get drink. Why can't Todd look for something? Bob, can you help me find anything? No? Okay. <laughs> I don't like the laughing coming from there. Bro, what is with this room? The people that live here moved out after what happened with Charlie. Charlie's old place. Oh god, I'm scared. Nah, I'm not gonna- I'm getting out. I'm leaving. I don't- I don't like that. Oh, so all the mail was Charlie's mail. Okay. That's why it's so overflowed. Okay, where do I go? <laughs> My only th place that I can go is- his place, which is Larry. He's still there, what the? Lost and found, maybe? Doesn't look like any- Bro! Uh, where do I go?
Hey Lisa, do you know if I can get an antenna anywhere? She like I said at least to Sally. Give me your antenna. Bro. Care about your dumb tummy being empty. I care about getting. Really, who keeps their clothes in here? Uh, people who are lazy. <sighs> Where do I find an antenna? I thought I had to go back up to floor five for an antenna. I hate the fifth floor. And then you get this music. Locked still. I don't really care if it's locked. I care for an antenna. Megan, where are you? Okay, tell me where I can find an antenna. I've checked pretty much everything. Be home, I need an antenna. Well, my dad listened to me yet. I legitimately cannot find anything. Wait, are we even looking for- Wait, reception is usually antennas, right? Hey, can you help me? That's a lot of sleep aid pills. That sound is actually very satisfying. Just saying. Okay. The answer is, I don't know. Robert isn't home like a doofus. I don't even know who Robert is. You died. The camera's gone. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna go down every single floor until I find whatever I need. I was just on floor. To floor three. I'm starting. David. All students. They're pretty busy right now. I shouldn't bother them. I was I on floor three. I don't even know if I went to floor three. David. Oh hi, Sal. What are you up to today? <laughs> hey, David. Have you seen any ghosts around? Yeah, for sure. The ghosts of my past keep waking me up. Keep waking. Why do you talk like this? Yeah, for sure. The ghost of my past keep, keep me awake at, at night. Also, dime. What? I barely get any sleep around around here. Uh, what about like a spirit of anyone else who used to live here? Sally, yin has gotta lay off the drugs, man. I think you're on drugs. Trust me. You'll have a better life for a le better life for it. Don't make the same mistakes I did. What happened to your pants? That's my question. Oh, y'all in y'all Oh y'all they're in the wash wash still. Sarah was supposed to go get them at But we just got talking that Jono. What? Lost track of time. See ya. Sees ya. Okay. I think I just... Died. 
I died trying to read that. No one's home. Of course no one's home. Chug is downstairs. Whatever. Chug, you suck. There's nothing in there. That's Todd's room. Todd's place, whatever. Go the funeral guy after what happened. Charlie. That's oh, Charlie's room. What do I do? Do I really have to look it up? I don't want to have to look it up. Hey, can I look in your fridge? Got anything in here for reception? Whatever. Todd, I can't find anything. You know what? I give up. I'm looking it up. I don't care if that's breaking the rules. I can't figure it out, nor do I want to anymore. is not helping me at all. No, we don't think we have to go back up to 4 5. I don't want to go back up there. Bro, he's got the game. Didn't even show me where to get them. It's definitely not floor five. Bro, this is not helping me. This guy's thinking the same thing as I am. Uh, yeah. Okay. How? This isn't helping. Apparently a lot of people struggle with the antenna. No, I don't want to go back up to 4-5.
This isn't helping me. Um. Wait, this person got the antenna from Larry, but I can't get that. It's not letting me. So... I'm so confused right now. I'm extremely confused. Literally looks like he took the antenna and said, Hey, can I borrow this antenna? Yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Excuse me? What? Oh my god! Uh, uh. Bro, you can literally just go over to it and click it. I've been searching for like 15 minutes or something for this stupid antenna and you could just click it bro oh. oh my gosh bro this is so Dumb! I know! <laughs> I know it's been over the 15 minutes, but I can mind it, bro! How long has it been? Like 25 minutes? This is one room we're in. I got your stupid antenna! Yes, this will work perfectly. Ah! That's how I feel. These two components you've retrieved my own equipment. I can. I'm not. Tr I'm not. I'm not even gonna try and pronounce that. Make the modifications to the Gear Boy. Spoke of earlier. Okay. Give me a moment to get it ready. This sounds pretty. pretty Okay, all set. Behold, the Super Gear Boy. Um, cool. Don't worry, you can play games on it. It'll only be a ghost hunting mode with the strange cartridge in it. Oh, awesome. You made me worry for a second. 
However, I unfortunately needed a few extra parts from the walkie-talkie and wasn't able to salvage it. Hope that's alright. Aerie's not gonna be so happy about that. It's okay though. It's for a good cause. I went down to the lava zone. Oh! You know, it's not as easy as you think, boy. Bro. Wonderful. Now, with the best results, you'll need to hold the system out for the internal fully extended. To do so, press shift button. The screen will glow. Extends any paranormal frequencies. Closer. Yes! Wait, no. No, it isn't. While it's flashing, press the R button to produce a large electric electrical. So shift and R, if my theory is correct, to surge electricity. So kind of like electro, electro. What is it called? Magnetic frequencies to detect them, kind of like an EMF reader. Okay. Actually, it's not enter, it's F. We'll provide an ample amount source of power to energize nearby apparitions and possi possibly other supernatural elements as well. Okay, I think I get the gist of it. I guess that we take it from test run in my bathroom. Come on, El Beater. Come on, El Be Bro, shut your dumb chatty Kathy Twitch thumbs viewer up. How about them apples? You're my mod. I don't, don't take that literally. You're my mod, bro. I depend on you. I just take it for a run in my bathroom. Sounds good. Okay. Can't spell the bean frog without L. Gosh dang it. Okay. Are you ready? Pressing shift. Interesting. Maybe I. Oh! It worked. Holy crap. Hello, what's the matter? Never thought we'd kill them. I... It's my fault. Who? Cece and her daughter. Oh god, what a fool I was to fall for a married woman. It's never a crime to follow your heart. You used to be a romantic like I was. It's kind of... It's kind of you to say that, but I know I'm better than that. We want to help you. Why haven't you left this place? We can never leave. I'm not ignoring you. I'm talking to a man that's crying. Greg. He's sitting on the toilet crying. What do you mean? You can't pass on? <laughs> What's keeping you here? Have you seen the demon with red eyes? Can you No, 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 no! What? What is it? He's here! Who is? The red-eyed man? The one who killed Stacy and her daughter? I have to go. I'm sorry. Oh! That's not nice. <laughs> no. Bro, you did not have to do him like that. That was a fully formed and conscious appar apparition. I've s never seen anything like that. You okay? Yeah, I'm f yeah, yeah, I'm fine. It's just one thing to read about on the paranormal and f formulate theories, the whole thing, and actually experience it. I know what you mean. It takes, it's a lot to take in. Both Roadhogs and Genji's abused her in different ways. No. Well, we have some work to do. I think I've had my fill of excitement for today, so I'll stay here and do some research. I want to look into the history of the Aston's apartment and see if I can find anything about past residences and about the supposed murders. That'd be help. That'd be really helpful. While you're doing that, can you search for more supernatural hotspots? Perfect. Oh, and by the way, I noticed some extraneous static from the game cartridge. 
You may want to check it out. Make sure it's okay. Okay then. Oh crap. Okay, what am I doing? Search for supernatural hotspots. So I'm gonna go up to floor five. Um see if there's anything up there. Support diff. And I need healing versus hot hooks and diving. Facts. Okay, floor five is probably a very supernatural hotspot. Uh, specifically in the bathroom where Megan is and where that homeless man was. And then I'll go see the other two rooms that are on the other side. Nothing. Nothing. scared of this floor. Oh gosh. What in the hell? Fine, we're gonna pretend like we didn't see that. We're gonna pretend like we did not see that. We didn't see anything. What do you mean? We didn't see like any demonic symbols. You know what? I'm just gonna go to church later, I think. Yeah, I saw a demonic symbol. Okay. Okay, um, I think I'm gonna go back down to Larry's kitchen. Because we saw that red eyed demon thing that appeared in Todd's mirror. Hey, are you any- Okay, there's no supernatural going on with you, bro. Seen any ghosts lately? Nah, not really. I know she's your friend, but Megan scares my pants off. I just stay in my room most times. I've seen demon with red eyes. What? Heck no, are you trying to give me nightmares? See ya. See ya. Okay, so- Clearly scared of a lot of things, especially red-eyed demons. Honestly, I would be too. Oh god, I'm scared. Another one! Okay. Um, what the... That's my question. Six. What does six mean? Anything in here. Now your bathroom looks really scary, Larry. Scary, Larry. Uh. Uh, I think I'm gonna go out to the treehouse as well. Ah, I didn't want to leave. Okay. Hey, is there anything paranormal in your room? Okay, can I talk to you? Check out the super gear board. Todd made that? That's pretty awesome. Wait, is that my walkie-talkie? Oh yeah, he needs the parts for the upgrade. I hope you don't mind. I can get us new ones. Damn, well, that's okay. Hopefully it'll help find more about these ghosts in my curse. Agreed. I'll be back. Hasta la vista, Sally. Okay, I'm gonna check a little bit more. I'm gonna walk past you, see if you're haunted. No, you're not. Okay, let's go outside to the treehouse, because that might be... Keep that out while snow is coming down. It's coming down real slow though. So. There's something on my screen. There we go. <laughs> the lava castle? Okay. Let's see this.
Sal? Larry, probably. Sal. I'm trying to make out words, but... Live. Till... I'm guessing that's Larry, but I don't know. You're breaking up, I can't quite hear you. I'm maybe sorry I can't have... I don't have much time. Just remember... Remember the red ball. Something else. I can't read that. What do you mean? What are you? I... Something to go. Not... Something... Missing... Don't... Or can't... Red ball... Okay, die. Die! Die is right there. I can't... I can't understand you. Two. Just when I thought I was getting used to seeing ghosts, when that happens. Yeah, fair enough. Whatever that was. Clearly it talked. My life is weird. Yeah, it is pretty weird. Okay, anything else in the area? No. Okay, well, um, Larry, your treehouse is haunted. Uh, very haunted. Yeah. Um, relatable. Sure. I mean, in the life is weird part, because I agree with that one. Um, Larry, your treehouse is haunted. Can't help you with that one, bro. Sorry about that. Okay, you know, I can't even tell him that his treehouse is haunted. I said it Sally. Okay, uh, kitchen time. We already checked his kitchen. That's right, I forgot. That was the first thing we checked. I love this picture. This one? So good. Great picture. Okay, where else would be a hot spot for paranormal activity? Okay, we checked floor five. Let's go up to floor four. Floor four. Hmm. He must not be home. Okay, let's check mine. Let's check my place. You paranormal? No. Nothing. <laughs> hmm. Vampire hunter, she lives. Sanity's fall, let's go. That poster is actually really cool. Twine Parks. Edward Edward Shovel Hands. The creator of this game is a genius. And we're shovel hands. It's great. Anything in your room, father? Hey, you done with work yet? No? Okay. Okay. Um. Okay. So that's gone. Okay. Um. I'm gonna go to third floor. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I'm gonna be right back.
I am back. There's something on my mag. There we go, it's gone. Okay. Resume. Okay. David. Sup, brother? Nothing. Sees ya. They're pretty busy right now, I should bother them. Can I come in? Check if there's any paranormal stuff for a school paper? I don't care. Okay. Drugs downstairs, parents work on the weekends. Wait, what? His parents work on the only on the weekends. Dang. He's got the week off? It's pretty nice. Oh, it's on. Okay, that's three done. Five, four, and three. And basement. So that leaves me two and one. Okay. Todd. Okay, let's go see in here. I'm honestly kind of scared if I find something in here. Amazing. Just what I wanted. Another one. Okay. Um, what? Sally? I don't know either. Okay, nothing in his kitchen. Man, that spell is still lingering. Definitely not going in there. Get a gas mask. Oh wait, sorry. You already have a mask. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go into Todd's room. Right after I go down through one. I just accidentally touched my mic. Okay, would give someone would kill me if I bothered her again. Okay. Oh no. Oh my, what horrific device you have. It's uh a uh well, it's sort of hard to explain. You really shouldn't tamper with things you don't understand. Well, I probably should go check with Todd again, see if he's found anything. Okay, yeah, uh, go see Todd. Uh, don't ever go into Miss Rosenberg's room again. I feel like she's dead. You know? Um. Um. <laughs> Todd. I think there's something wrong with Miss Rosenberg. A wrong room again. Todd. It's strange, but I can't find any reports of past murders. The only one that comes up is her friend Charlie. Look at this picture of him. I'm so in public. Look at but look at this photo on of him on the public record. What the? Local murder receives a sentence. Muckshark Charlie Mansfield. Mansfield? Mansfield. Age 41 above. I can't really read that. What the? It gets even weirder. There's no trace of any officers that were here the day Miss Sanderson were killed, was killed. Not even in classified police re records. It's as if they weren't here at all. Or like they didn't they don't even exist. How is that possible? I'm not entirely sure, but I did find one interesting thing. It's a missing person case from 1987. Megan Holmes, age 7, 
lived in Addison's apartments with her parents, Luke and Stacy. Looks like it may be your little friend from upstairs. She must be the daughter of Greg. The daughter that Greg, from the bathroom, was telling us about. The stories line up, right? Well, here's where it gets weird again. There's an update to the report one day after the original was filed, stating the girl was found dead in, in Windigo Lake. Have you guys ever heard of the legend of the Windigo? Anyway, it's a pretty weird story. Um, that's a few miles south far of here, along with her parents. It says they had been fishing and fell into the river and drowned. Some kind of mudslide or something. That's definitely her. Wait a second. I've seen that necklace before. I know I have. She's gonna- she's never wearing it when I talked to her, but I've seen it somewhere else. Since you haven't been able to summon her, even with the Super Gear Boy, perhaps finding the necklace will help somehow? That actually makes a lot of sense. It's something she had a connection with, too, when she was alive. Now I just need to remember where the hell I saw that thing. Go f find making stickless. Okay, um... There's a lost and found in the basement. I'm gonna go look for there first, because lost and found is usually where lost things go. I knew I saw the nexus somewhere. Yes, it was faster to find than the antenna. I know Larry will see Megan for sure. Okay, Larry, let's go. Let's go, Larry. Okay, work your magic route whenever you're ready. Megan, are you here with us? This is my friend, Larry. We have some questions to ask you. Hi, Sally Face. <gasps> Megan, she's so cute. Holy fuck, Knuckles. That's not a nice word, Larry. That's funny. <laughs> That's not a nice word, Larry. Aha, uh -huh. you'll have to forgive him, Megan. He's never seen a ghost before. It's okay. My daddy says bad words sometimes, too. Where have you been lately? What do you mean? I've been here the whole time. I've been trying to reach you. I think when you're alive, you can't see the other side. The other side? Yeah, that's where we all live. It's just like this side, but a little different. Do you know someone named Greg? Oh, you mean Mommy's friend. I like Greg. He always brings me candy. Can you remember anything else about him? Um, just that he was nice and always brought me candy. Oh, and my daddy didn't like him that so much. That's why. But I don't know why. What can you tell me about your parents? I miss my mommy. She doesn't talk anymore. What about your dad? Daddy scares me now. He scares everyone here. But he wasn't always like that. He used to be nice like mommy. What happened? I remember they had a fight and then he was sad. Then his sadness turned into angerness. Do you remember your last days? I don't know. It's all blurry now. Were you fishing at Lake Wendigo? Huh? No, I've never been fishing before, but my daddy went sometimes with Mr. Johnson. Wait, Jim Johnson? Yeah, how'd you know that? That's my dad! Oh, I remember. At Daddy's were friends. Hee <laughs> hee. Can you tell me where he is now? Do you know anything else about him? Please, I need to know. I'm sorry you lost your daddy. I don't know where he is. I just know that Mr. Johnson and my daddy went fishing a lot. I'm sorry. Is this your necklace? Hey! Yes! Where'd you find that? It was downstairs in the bottom of the lost and found box. My mommy gave me that necklace. She was scared. She said it would protect me from the evil in the world. That's nice. Do you know where your mommy is now? She's in her bedroom, but she never listens to me anymore. I don't think she can hear me. That's sad. Do you think she... Uh-oh. What? Daddy's coming. He doesn't like when I talk to people. I have to go. Bye-bye. Wait, I... Five. 
Shit. Yeah. They never seem to stick around long. Well, we're going to need to get to that bedroom. It's all boarded up. Can we get some tools for us? Actually, Dave, David borrowed my mom's crowbar and never gave it back. Would you mind getting it from him? It. I asked him like three times now and he always says some excuse. Maybe I'll have better luck. Sure. I'll head down to the third floor for now. For floor now and see what I what I can do. Okay. Um, so we want to get into... Was your daddy the one sitting right here? I needed to get into that room. So we need to go get a crowbar from David. You know, the guy that seems like he's super high. Yeah, him. Okay. Down to floor three. That one. <laughs> okay. What was it? David's place right here. Sup, brother? Can I borrow your crowbar? I'd love to lend it to you, but it's the only thing ting holding up my shelf right now. See those kids next door in 301? They're nice kids. And dolls. But they have this really loud parties sometimes. Shakes the whole wall. My shelf falls down. Shelf falls right down. If Yins can talk to them for me, for me, get them a little quieter. Then I can let Yins borrow the crowbar. Epic. Okay. Okay, I can talk to them. I just hit my mic again. Thanks, Sal. I do it myself, but I ought of clean clothes, you see, and I just hate to be the old party pooper. Do you know? It's not a problem. I'll be right back. See, see us. Yo, what's up, Sal? Hey, CJ. What are you up to? I'm trying to choose music for a party tonight. Mind if I have one? Go for it, little dude. Um. How about this? Dude, I think it would take everyone to sleep. Okay. Um. Little classic kill music for you. How about this? Huh? No, there's something interesting about this one. It's unexpected. It's classy. I think this could work. I feel like this one would put them to sleep faster than the other one, but you know, it's fine. Hey. Hey, Z. What's up? Hey Sally Face, I'm trying to choose a game for the party tonight. I've got this book of games, but I don't know. Can I take a look? Be my guest. Musical chairs. Charades. No, that's loud. Duck Duck Moose, that's also loud. Dodgeball, that's very loud. Telephone? Telephone could work. How about this game? Mm, you know, this reminds me of grade school. That touch of nostalgia could be just this could be just what this party needs. Thanks, Sal. That was surprising. Any anything else I need to change in here? Okay. Oh crap. There's someone else there and I didn't pay attention. Hey. Hey Ciara. What are you up to? Oh, hey, Sally Face. Caught the planning and alternate activity for tonight's party. My friends and I usually do our own thing, and I'm having trouble narrowing it down. Is it okay if I look over your list? Sure. D&D, &D, Dungeons & Dragons, Movie Night, Video Games, Chess Tournament, Karaoke Debate. Um, Chess Tournament. How about this? It's been a while since we've done a tournament. That's a perfect choice for tonight. Yeah, very welcome. I think that does it. Their party should be much quieter now. Perfect. I'm playing chess, telephone, and classical music. That should put everyone to sleep. Ew. Sup, brother? Brother? Can I borrow your crowbar? I worked it all out with the college students. They're gonna have a much more low-key party this time. Wow, that's great news. Thanks for helping me out. 
Sarah will be so happy too. Last time our wedding pi picture almost blowed up t to pieces. I'm glad I could help. Right, let me grab that crowbar for your use for uh, one second. Bro, this guy gonna give me a stroke. Here you go, buddy. Take care. That one was the most. That was the easiest phrase, and I couldn't even say that one. Thanks, you too. Okay, so I guess I'm going back up to five and opening that stupid bedroom. Because I need to do that for Larry, because Larry is cool. You know, Larry's my best bud. That sounds so dumb. Is there anything here now? No? I should be able to pull these boards off with the crowbar. I guess so. I'm so scared. Oh god. Oh Jesus Christ. Of course. Oh my lord. No wonder why she doesn't talk. Look at her throat. Looks like she was pierced by the bed. Stacy? Are you okay? Oh, goodness. There's a huge hole in the wall. Looks like there's room on the other side. Point of no return. I guess I have to, right? You know what? Squid. Squid boy. Squiddy man. Squid. S Squidster. What was the other one you said? I think I said all of them. Should I go in? Or should I not? Hi. Should I go in? Yes or no? Yes. Oh, I'm. Oh, of course. H Hello. Seven. What the? In seeking pro precedence. Pre hmm. Squid, you better be watching. You made me do this. Okay, chapter eight's locked. She desperately sought a place among the council, so the aspiring witch traveled deep into the castle for the in initiation <laughs> trial to retrieve the book of forgotten truths. I already died. Oh my gosh, these controls are so sensitive. Stop being so sensitive. Oh my jeez. No! So sensitive! Super Gear Boy. I love how it's taped on with Super. Jesus. Swear to God, if I fall into the stupid spikes again. My lord. Okay. I did it. I love the music. Which 
Which way do I go? Oh, they leave to the same place anyway. No! You're kidding me! Oh my... Squid, why did you do this to me? Very close to the spikes. That is two. Oh my. Concentration is key. I hope. Because if not, I will fail miserably and give up on this person's life. Oh my, why did I go this way? Okay, I did it. What is this? Why is this relevant? No! I made it so far. I got so far. Oh my gosh. If I die again, I'm gonna end the stream. Actually, I won't. I won't. I probably won't. Oh, okay. Yeah, see, I won't do that. Go. 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 Oh. Woo. Why is it so sensitive? Okay, you know, I'm playing with the arrows. Okay, this is just worse. Okay, you know what? I'm going back to WASD. You're probably laughing, aren't you, Squid? Or are you not? I don't really care. Stuck. Okay, okay. Sally, can you like take over for like two seconds? Finish this little level thing and then like go on with your day because this is starting to get annoying. No! I barely hit it, what do you mean? Okay. Woohoo! Eee! I'm dancing on one. Okay. Right, why did I crawl into this hole at the point of no return? Don't do that. No! Okay, this is fine. I'm fine. Okay, I'm not fine. I'm not fine. I'm... Okay. What if I just don't want to do this anymore? Maybe it's relevant to the story. I don't know.
Maybe Sal just is taking a, vi a video game break, but keeps dying. Honestly, I would rage quit and get back to what I was doing beforehand. Maybe this is on the suspicious cartridge. I'm contemplating Sal's life right now. Sal, why are you taking a game break? Is this a game break, or is this just you trying to torture the player? Come on. Come on. Come on. This game- Why are we standing in the middle of a summoning circle anyway? I'm guessing we're playing some type of woman, because it said that in the beginning part. Woman, why did- why- or person, why were you standing in the middle of the summoning circle? You're not supposed to do that. It's not good. Why are your controls so sensitive? Why are you sensitive? Damn, you step on a spike and you're dead immediately. Honestly, I would probably fall to the floor, but I wouldn't die. I wish you had checkpoints. Where would the checkpoints be? I don't know. If I were the game creator of this stupid pixel game, I'd probably put a checkpoint here. Okay, now don't be dumb. Okay. Let's go. Focus is key to surviving this game, yes. Please. Oh! I have retrieved the book from a forgotten truth. I will. Will you not- will you not see my worth now? The council recognizes the great resolve you've shown us today. Let this book stand as testament of your place among the, our ranks of- Henceforth, may our sight pierce the heavens, and our reach be infinite and everlasting. For we desire- for we devourers- devourers of God- of- of- wait, what? For we are the devourers of God. So this is a cult. You're kidding me. And the mysterious old woman gazed once again into Jim's eyes and said, If you can find the door, if the, this key unlocks, we will share the secrets of the universe with you. We were playing Lisa? This kind of looks like his dad. Is that, what is that? This kind of looks like Larry's dad. Oh, good. I hope that's a checkpoint. If not, I'm gonna die. Kidding me. Okay, good. I hope I'm not going the hard way. Now the other way was a dead end. Okay, good. Okay. That was cheap. My bald head touched it probably. That was close. I can't I can't get through. What do you mean I can't get through? You're kidding me, right? How am I supposed to get there? Oh my... Thank you. Okay. That was cheap. I think this game is to, made to piss off people. Don't- Oh, you did it. Okay. Okay. Looking for another one of those big ass buttons. It's literally right there. Okay. Alright, that's a dead end. 
Oh, okay. You know what? Whatever. Walk straight. I'm sorry, I'm concentrating. The commentary is gonna su Okay. Okay. Yes! Please be the end. Oh, okay. What in the hell? That's loud. You're kidding me. I have to do. One, two, three, four, five, and probably six more? Oh. He knew not why he was drawn to this place, yet could not prevent his feet from threading, threading the dirt. Path. Treading. Treading? Is it treading? Or f yeah, probably treading, right? Path, the dirt path before him. Perhaps it was simply curiosity, or perhaps it was destiny. Dirt path. A uh, farm. Talk. Sorry, members only. Sounds like someone is crying. I better go check to make sure they're okay. Is that crying? Or is that video game? Hello, miss. Are you okay? Who are you? Pardon my rudeness, ma'am. My name is Gregory Montag. Greg, are you Greg? Oh my god, you're Greg. So we got someone that looks like Jim, uh, his dad, someone that looks like Stacy. That might be Stacy, actually. I didn't mean to intrude on you. It's just that I heard crying and wanted to make sure everything was okay. That's kind of you. I take it you're not men with the ch of this church? No, ma'am. That's for the best. It's terrible what goes on in, in this place. It keeps me up at night. I'm beginning to fear f for mine and for mine and my daughter's safety. I've tried to reason with them. I've reached my wit's end. I understand I lost my family last year in the big factory fire. It breaks my heart to see a kind lady such as yourself so broken up. I'd like to help however I can. However I can. You can tell me what you need. That's awful kind of you, Mr. Montag. I am dearly sorry about your family. Please, call me Greg. Please, call me Greg. Pleasure to meet you, Greg. I'm Stacy Holmes. You couldn't have come along at a better time. You must be an angel. Just a humble farmer. Har humble farmer. You're a farmer, Greg? That's a glad to be helpful to nice folk like you. The pleasure is all mine. Okay, so... Oh? It was literally just a game break. Luke, can you hear me? Luke? Oh, Lord. <gasps> what in the... What the hell just happened? Todd gave me one of his inventions and said that theoretically it could overload and destroy an evil spirit. After I got it, I came upstairs right away to make sure you were okay. It's a good thing you did. So that red-eyed creep has been here for decades. Is the red-eyed creep Luke? 
that was before I was even born. I guess maybe I'm not cursed after all. Yeah, who knew Addison Portman's had such a dark past? I thought living here with Charlie was freaky. Damn, this shit's nuts, dude. Well, I don't like- I don't think we'll have to worry about the demon showing up anymore. Todd's thingy seemed like it took care of it. Oh. What is it? No, that's great and all. I was just thinking. I guess there's no curse. This means that my dad, he- he just- Larry, no! Larry! Are you okay? No! Aww. Yo, Dr. Enan, our therapist! Let's go! Mr. Enan! Okay, anyway. I'm sorry, Sal. It, but that's our time today. The guard's giving me the look. Wait, that was only part of the story. I had hoped to get some honest insight from you today, especially with this being our last session and your trial in just a few days. Again, like, he's a prison inmate. Like, this is just mind blowing. He's such a, like, good kid. What happened? I swear all my life I've told you nothing but the truth. Government conspiracies, demons, ghosts, and some kind of magical video game system. Sal, these things don't exist. You really can't expect me to believe you. Think about think about it from my perspective. The evidence against you from what you did. Well, it is profound. I know how it sounds, but what I've got you what I've what I've told you is the truth. Go to the treehouse, please just go see for yourself. You'll find all the proof you need. Poor Sal. What a fucking psycho, eh? Hey, yeah, that's not nice, Mr. Guard. Dr. Enan, please go see. Is he actually going to see? Dr. Enan, let's go! Let's freaking go, man. Oh my god, my voice just cracked. Holy, what the hell happened to Addison's apartments? It looks- oh. Oh! Okay, um... I guess we're going out to the treehouse, right? I mean, obviously. Dang, how- how-, how okay. Jeez, this tree looks destroyed. Oh my god. Oh, there are his old paintings. Rusty tools and another various junk. A new old... A few old amateur paintings, probably Larry's. Boxes. They're filled with clothes, books, cassettes, nothing of importance. Seems like a photograph of Larry's parents. Nothing strange about it, though. Ugh, there's absolutely nothing here- up here. I don't know what I was thinking. I guess I just need to see for myself. It's all so convincing and the whole thing seemed... off. Bla <gasps> is Larry dead? No, Larry's not dead, is he? Dr. Enan? What? What? Okay, he's screaming. Don't freak out, man! We need your help! You have to get Sal out of jail. This shit's much deeper than we thought. Please! You have to get Sal here. This... This... this your... You can't be. Calm down, dude. You're gonna give yourself a heart attack. This is important. If Sal doesn't get out soon, then... No, please don't. Shit. Did Larry die? Okay. Dr. Enan, you dumbass. Conjure. Achievement. What the hell?
Oh! Is this real? Am I dreaming? White room. White room. Don't... Is this backwards? Don't forget what I told you. Find me in the white room. What? Hello. Others... But you must not speak of this place to others. Here. Okay, I can't read the rest. Oh, what the hell? The only one who... should I do? Something. R. Huh? Run. Run! What in the hell? What do you mean, pull the lever? What? There used to be a door here. Is it true that you've chosen the Forego legal help in favor of representing yourself? Yes. I've gotten nothing to hide. I've got nothing to hide. Phone news. Is that really what it's called? Can you speak to your conviction of being an innocent man? Are you sticking with the story you've told the police? Phone news. <laughs> I will share the truth. Are you saying your religion tr story wasn't true? I have no comment on that. Can you comment on the supposed person that allegedly killed your mother? How do you explain no witnesses or evidence that of any such person. I don't see the relevance of that now. Is it true they are going to add Sanderson murder to your charges? That would be news to me, but honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if they tried to pin that on me too. And, and what about Charlie Mansfield? I have nothing to say about him right now. I expect that I did what I thought was right at the time. Okay, since we aren't getting any major details from you, let me ask you our highest polled question. The viewers are very interested in this one. Is it true you are granted special meal privileges because you are afraid of bologna? I'm not afraid of the lunch meat, okay? I just, well, it's a long story. Your trial is still only a few hours away. I think we have plenty of time. Ugh. Alright. The baloney incident. Really? That's the next episode? The baloney incident? Mr. Good L. Mr. Dud? Can I, like, leave? This is supposed to be saved for episode 3. That's me pressing my... Okay, I can't leave. Hello, are you okay? Ew. Hello, are you okay? Okay then. 
What's wrong with your friend? He sought the truth, and the truth destroyed his soul. Now please, leave us alone. Your head will frighten the children. Can you please tell me where your friend ventured to find alignment? He traveled the wise prophet, to the wise prophet beyond the fields of death. But a round head like you will never make it. Oh, shoot. Are you okay? What happened to your limbs? Well, I never... How would you feel if I asked you what happened to your really chipped head? I didn't mean to offend you, I was... <laughs> Go bother someone else! Okay. Hello. Are you the pla pla platypus? What? Platypus? Again, this is supposed to be saved for episode 3, but I can't seem to like get anywhere. Hello, miss. Don't pay any mind to my sister. She's only been cranky lately because of the f sun. It's no problem. Why are you guys crying? Our ancestors were mauled by the great beast ever since our people are down without limbs. What sort of beast could do that? We do not speak of such things. If you want to know more, you'll need to sneak out of the oracle beyond the field's death. Death fields. Okay, apparently there's death fields. What in the hell? Are you the great beast? Well, fuck you too, friend. I'm sorry, don't pay any mind to my temper rises with the sun. The great beast hasn't seen me for over a hundred years. Do you know where the prophet is? You mean the crazy old hag who lives beyond death? Just take the ladder down. It's always the ladder down. Now, I didn't want the stream to go over two hours, but I think it might go a little bit over since I legitimately can't leave. Oh! Are you the prophet? I am called by many names by the sticks. Do you know about the great beast? I crawled through the great hole many years ago. It ravaged for sticks for decades, then was laid to rest by a magnificent explosion in the sky. Believe, most believe the beasts the beast to be dead now, though we know nothing than that. What is the Great Hole? Eons ago was created a Great Hole of fabric. I can't read the rest because I pressed F too soon. A hole that contains all of the knowledge in the universe. How do I get there? What is the truth worth to you? What is the truth worth to you? Apparently you're an old hag. Everything. Interesting. Just everything. Okay, we're not gonna question that. Oh! Oh! That's not nice. Excuse me, Mr. Fisher. Sal, wake up. Oh. That doesn't look like math to me. Oh, sorry, I must have dove it off. I already finished the test. Who the hell is looking back at me like that? Look away, sir. Look away. Look away. Look away. Good, good, sir. Look away. I know, dear. You aced it as well. Shh. Sure, it won't happen again. I'm guessing she just told me to not fall asleep. Mr. Phelps, eyes on your paper. On your own paper. <laughs> Travis. Can I leave now? Oh. Class is almost class is almost over. Make sure everyone hands in their tests before leaving. Okay. Hey freak. Dang, bullying. Nobody likes goody two shoes, Sally face. Nobody likes a cliche bully, Travis. Dang, get roasted. Don't you have something better to do? Shut up, bitch! I wasn't talking to you. You know, if if you took that stick out of your ass, you may actually enjoy yourself for once. Maybe even make a friend or two. 
Fuck off. I have more friends than you'll than you'll ever have. You kiss your daddy with that tongue? I'm sure he Oh wow. The hell, asshole. Are you alright, Sal? I'm fine. Come on, let's report that jerk. No, don't worry about it. That'll just make things worse. Trust me. I've dealt with bigger bullies than Travis before. Sal, you're breathing. You're bleeding. I'm okay, really. Here, let me use my bandana. Wait, hold on. You can't... I... That's kind of nice. <laughs> there. Looks like you just have a small scratch. Don't worry. You can hardly see it. Huh. Thanks, Ash. That's nice. Hey, can I leave yet? Dude, what happened? Was it Travis again? That prick. I'll kill him. Larry, I'm fine. Don't worry. It's a I'm fine. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Sal's right. If we stir the pot, it could just make things worse. Not if he's dead. Then he'll probably just haunt the school, and we'd be stuck with that bonehead for the next two years. Heh, <laughs> says the group skeptic. You know I love you guys, but ghost stories are a bit much even for me. Bro, I want to leave. I want to take this to the next episode. So we're really just going to let Travis thing go? It's not worth it. Pl plus, think about it. Who knows what his home life is like? He's got all that pent-up rage. It must be from... There must be a reason. I'm pretty sure he's just angry that they that they switched bologna sandwich day to tomorrow. Huh. <laughs> Seriously, I've never seen anyone love the crappiest lunch day so much. That's really the lunch day you guys have? Dang. It's like a prison meal. Oh, Sally knows about those. Why are you sad, squid? It's like a prison meal. And he doesn't even like pizza Fridays. Who doesn't like pizza? It's inhuman. Maybe he's an alien. <laughs> That's all we need. Can I leave? Oh, psst. Larry, I'll help you kill Travis when Sal isn't looking. I heard that. Can I leave now? The next day, Baloney Day. Why is Baloney spelt like that? Forgot my two keys and the thermal plant. Get wrecked. Okay. I want to save this for. Oh, wow. Oh. Ew. <sighs> Why did she look like that? Does the baloney smell funny to you guys? Can I leave? I thought last week's was a little off-putting. It seems to be worse. I heard it's made from goat's meat. Didn't a bunch of kids call in sick the day after baloney day last week, too? Aw, oh, hey guys, don't ruin lunch for me, please. It's the only good part of my day. Rupuddle? I'm in. Me too. Count me in. Have fun. I'm going to stay here with Chug. She looks kind of emo. We need to find out if there's anything wrong with the bologna. Maybe there was a batch of bad beef or it's expired or something. Or bad goats. I'm telling you, dude. This shit's funky. Doesn't have beef, pork, chicken, or turkey. And or turkey. Todd, man, you're making my stomach turn. This is like... The hot dog incident all over again. Ugh, I hope not. Sal might be onto something. Bro, it's been two hours and six minutes. I want to save this for episode three. No, I should have just cut this in half, because the last time I checked, it was like an hour and 45, and I was going to cut it off there, but you know what? It's fine. Sal might be onto something. There could be an issue with the lunch meat. I like to take our, I like to take our sandwiches to the science lab. See if I can find any bacteria signs of expiration. However, it would be helpful to know what the exact ingredients are. Okay, Ash, you go with Todd, help him in the lab, Larry. I will try to get more information on the bloody. Sounds like a plan. Can I finally leave now? Okay. That is it for episode two. We're going to go on to episode three and continue the Bologna incident because I didn't want to go this far into the 
episode. So I will see you. Quick game, save progress, maybe lost. That's fine with me. If I can restart next episode, that'd be fine. Okay. Well, that was fun. That was lots of fun, you know? Very fun. I hope you all, or people, the people that were here, enjoyed it. You know? It was all fun and games, but now it is time to cross paths. Leave. And I will see you in episode 3. See ya!